So I recently purchased my first Detolf case. Uh, it's very popular among collectors as it's simple design. It's very inexpensive. Uh, you can grab it from Ikea for about 60 bucks. And out of the box it's a decent design but I'm going to show you how to make it much better. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is grab some Windex and wash it down before you assemble it. Wash all the glass because it does come a little dirty and you want to clean that up. The next thing you want to do is drill a hole in the bottom on the base. Uh, you can't hardly see mine but it is back there. And uh, the idea is you're going to want to run your wires up through there. You, it does come with a hole in the top like that but for me that's a bad design because then you're going to have to run wires on the outside of the case and I just don't want to do that. Once it's uh, assembled grab this product it's called Pile and you're going to dust proof it. You can pick it up from Home Depot for about 15 bucks and you're going to line the case along the edge both sides of course and then as well as the bottom and of course the top and once that's installed for me I found that the door didn't close all the way on the top it did on the bottom but not the top so what I did is I grabbed this extra magnet from Home Depot for two bucks and from there it closes fine and it gives you a nice seal to keep the dust out. Next thing you want to do, assuming you want to add more shelves. Now, depending what kind of size of product you're going to put in here, uh, I needed more shelf space. So what I did is grab this product right here. And I found that idea from the internet. These little are they king chain wire rope clips, 3 16ths of an inch. Uh, they work really well. They clamp on tight. You don't have to worry about them falling down or anything like that. And um, for me, the best way to get them even, so they lay level, was I just took a chunk of cardboard that came in the box of the, the kit here. I cut it to seven inches. And what you can do is you just lay it in there like so. Put your clamp on, bolt it in, or tighten it up, away you go. And then you might need some minor adjustments, but everything will lay level. The next thing you're going to want to do is your LED lights. So what I did is I grabbed this product from Amazon for 12 bucks, And as you can see, it is the white color, strip light, of course. And it glues on there. I like the color. I think it's much better than the diode or soft warm white or whatever it is. So that's just my preference. And then for the wiring, speaking of the diode, I had purchased a kit previously from Ikea for a different case. So I had some leftover wire. And this stuff is perfect. It's um, a thin gauge. It's a uh, light color so it doesn't show up very too much. And it also has, I don't know if you can see that. Some markings on it so you can tell which is your ground and which is your you know your power side. Of course you're gonna want to solder that to your LED strips like that. If you can get a fine tip soldering gun, that's the best way to go. Uh, it is strong, you don't have to worry about it falling off. Now for me I wanted to make mine modular, so the idea was if I decided to disassemble this case, uh, I didn't have to completely undo the wiring. So what I used, and this was part of the diode kit as well. Had these little clamps like that, or these little clips. I cut them in half, spliced them into the wiring, like so. And so now if I want to remove a shelf, I just pop that off, away you go. To hide your wires, you can use these little white cable ties. Super good idea. And what I did is, for, because my case is white, I bought some white electrical tape. And uh, yeah, so it matches the color really well, so that's a good idea as well. Uh, the next thing, once you have it wired up, is I bought these little rocker switches from Home Depot. I think they were seven dollars a piece, kind of expensive, but and I, I went with two because I wanted to be able to control the lights better. So right now we have the top and that shelf on. If I flip this, we can make. That light come on too brightens it up now i used a 2.67 amp 
power supply that just plugs into this little adapter that came with the LED strip light kit. And I just soldered those together like so. And once that's all done, you can go ahead and add the shelves if you got extra ones. I uh, used four millimeter tempered glass and it costs 20 bucks a sheet. So it's a little expensive and it can take one to two weeks to make, so just be aware of that. I went with three sheets to leave a nice open spot in the bottom. Uh, because of these little clamps here, you can adjust the height any way you want. And once it's all together, you have a product that looks something like this. As for the glass, I should mention that I, uh, I did consider going with something like this to mount onto the little clamps here keep the noise down, um, keep them secure, whatever, but they didn't work. So I had these little cork pieces that came with the glass chunks that I had cut. I just cut them in half and, and while they're still ugly, they, they do, they do, they do the job well. Um, so yeah, so that's what it looks like. And let's see what it looks like with some junk in it. So there it is. I think it turned out great. The extra shells are definitely worth it, and I think the lights really set it off. The Audi and the Ferrari above, I don't plan to keep in the case, but they sure look good under the lights, so I might have to build myself another one. So for 200 bucks, you have yourself a dustproof, lit up D12 case, and I uh, hope this helps some people. If you have any comments, please share. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching.